Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time you're watching this. My name's Connor from 905 Review. You're watching our series Give This a Spin, where I recommend you guys some of my favorite albums. And today we look at the exquisite jazz classic Scenery from Ryo Fukui. Scenery would be Fukui's debut album, released at the age of 28, and would feature mostly jazz classics he covers, with the exception of the title track written by him himself. This comes after spending the previous six years teaching himself how to play piano. Its release in 1976 came towards the tail end of Japan's jazz-centric period. The genre would be introduced to the country, predominantly by American and Filipino camps in between the two world wars. The Japanese population enjoying American works during World War II specifically was a tricky subject, as you could imagine, and led to the government trying to outright ban the genre. But at that point, it had gained too much traction and was too popular to hold back. Following the Allied occupation of Japan, Japanese jazz artists began to flourish, as jazz is mainly what a lot of the American troops wanted to listen to back home, so now you sort of had a blend of the two cultures going into the genre. Jazz would remain among the forefront of popular genres in Japan for the decades to come, leading us to the point we'll be looking at. And with that being said, let's get into these tracks. We open off with Rio's rendition of the Jimmy Van Heusen penned It Could Happen To You. It's a sweet, cozy, and endearing track to start off with. Come on, I mean I grew to this. It feels like a song that'd be great to just swing dance with a cute girl to. The ending of the song wraps it all up so perfectly. Come on, forget about it. Just like that. After this, we have the Billy Eckstein tune, I Want to Talk About You. And right from the first few measures, it absolutely captivates me. It's such an incredibly beautiful sounding piece, very serene. Really can't go wrong with this album. I'll tell you that right now. Spoilers, I guess. I think it'd be perfect for cloud gazing or even just looking out your window too. How fitting that it's on an album called Scenery. Closing the first side of the album, we have a take on Japanese pianist Hideo Ichikawa's song, Early Summer, and at over ten and a half minutes, it's easily the longest track on the album. It begins as a nice piano ballad, but then it picks up as the bass and the drums come in, and it all forms into place so masterfully. It's just such a fine grooving song, and though it's subtle, so as to not take away from Rio's place too much, the use of toms and the open hi-hat regarding the drums give them what I want to describe as them sounding their rawest at any point on the album. It's a nice touch and it really just goes to show what a great supporting role they play. Midway through, the song picks up and goes into this much faster bit. The portion culminating with a two minute long drum solo which to me I would honestly describe as a little reminiscent of John Bonham before uh, the song goes back into its original sound and groove. Whatever, forget it. <laughs> Too much going on to play right here. Once again, this song has a perfectly orchestrated outro as well. Opening the second side of our album is the Anne Rennell track, Willow Weep For Me. It's a nice, smooth, loungy tune. Definitely one just to kick back and have a smoke or a drink to. It feels very worry-free to me. and ruined a shot in the video? The song's too worry-free. Can't be concerned about it. Next we have the piece Autumn Leaves from the Hungarian Joseph Kosma. The opening repeating piano bit makes it sound a little tense, a little suspenseful, but when the song really picks up it is just absolute jubilee.
it doesn't even necessarily sound like it's supposed to feel overly emotional, but something about it just always strikes a chord in me. There's a bit later on where Ryo just kind of sits back. He lets the drums just keep the rhythm, lets the bass kind of take front and center and get to shine. I very well think this is my favorite song off the album. Just that piano melody, the da 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 gets me every time. And closing the album, we have Fukui's own scenery, a very somber send-off for us. It definitely feels like a credits rolling kind of song. It definitely makes me think of a gentle rain, whether that's walking through it, driving through it, or just admiring it from a dry space. It's kind of got a melancholy feel to it, but not overly so. Like, maybe you didn't get that job, maybe that date didn't work out, maybe you and someone close to you have a fairly big disagreement, but you still move on and focus on the next day, like everything will still work its way out. An absolutely beautiful conclusion. The album would originally be put out on Japanese label Naja Records in 1976. It would take until 2005 until we got a re-release of it from another Japanese label, Solid Records, who put it out on CD, with two bonus tracks, Mellow Dream and Horizon, both originally from Fukui's second album. There would be a handful more re-releases throughout the years, but the Swiss label We Release Whatever the Frick We Want Records would debut a subsidiary label, We Release Jazz, with editions of scenery as they have since 2018. These were on CD and vinyl, and include a red translucent variant. The album would be decently successful. The twist is, a lot of this success came roughly 40 years later. While it did earn him some notoriety in his native Japan. At the time of its release in the mid-70s, jazz wasn't exactly at the forefront of popular music in the Western world anymore. The recent newfound interest in Ryo Fukui just kind of happened by chance, too. Surely you've been browsing YouTube before, as I can only assume you are right now, and in the side panel you'll have recommended videos where you might see somebody's uploaded an entire album. Who knows how videos are selected by the YouTube algorithm, but a select few kind of seem to show up in everybody's recommended, regardless of what really it was that you're watching. In terms of video uploads of albums specifically like this, these became known by some as the unofficial genre that is YouTube core. Scenery is one of the most notable examples of this. You may have also come across albums such as Dive by Tycho, Birth of a New Day by 2814, or Mint Jams by Cassiopeia. The list goes on, really. The sad part about this is it seems to have only really picked up just following Ryo's death. Hearing scenery, it's hard to believe Fukui was self-taught on piano. I love how audible the bass is throughout the album. I guess that's somewhat a staple of some artists within the genre, but that's just one thing I enjoy about jazz. Maybe what I love most about the album is the production. Throughout a lot of it, it sounds like the bass is almost completely panned to the left, the drums almost all to the right, and then Rio's piano just kind of in like the center of the musical scope. It makes it sound like you're hearing the trio perform right in front of you. Now let me tell you, I really slept on this album. When I first heard it, I was like, this is pretty good. It's probably at like a B plus for me. But then the more I listened to it and became familiar with the songs, it kind of jumped its way up to an A minus. Then in writing this review, hearing all the songs over and really focusing on them, I got no choice but to stamp this thing with an A grading. It's just so absolutely blissful throughout and it really can just take you somewhere else. With that being said, I want to thank you for tuning in to my review of Ryo Fukui Scenery. It's been a pleasure to have you. 
Hope to have you back again, and we'll see you next time. But, real quick, before we take off, what were your thoughts on scenery? Did I rate it too high or did I rate it too low? Let me know down below, as well as any other thoughts, comments, anything, <laughs> recommendations. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. I've enjoyed having you. I'd enjoy having you more back another time. Take it easy.